D2D NY, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, I have a Goodman high efficiency heating furnace, a no heat call. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, diagnose this furnace real quick. Diagnose the problem. So you guys could see. But before we get into the video, as always, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and smash that bell icon. All right. So when I upload videos like these, you can get them right away. So I have the panels removed, as you can see. I'm sure, you guys will know how to do that. Do this already. Remove the panels. And. Um, so the fault code that I was getting was a single flash and that simply means that um, it had reached the fault retries, fault retries limit, right? So it was locked out with a single flash, all right? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push um, push this uh, panel switch or door panel switch. Power it up. My thermostat is already calling, as you can see. Gas valve just open. Nothing. All right, so I don't know if you can hear the clicks or if you could have heard the um, the gas flowing. Well, my gas valve had just opened and there's nothing. There's no ignition. There's no glowing. There's no glow igniter. The glow igniter didn't glow. It shut down okay so it shut down restart number two A second try second try So that's a uh, third try. Okay. Three tries. Still no ignition. Uh, let's wait for the fault. Single flash. And that single flash is representative or represents, uh, I'm going to say, no flames. It tries. It tried to light for um, three times, and then after three tries, it locks out at a single flash. Uh, there is your uh, glow igniter, and it had never it had never glowed. It didn't glow, so I think that's the issue. That's the culprit because it went through the sequence. Um, 
I heard a gas valve opened and um, but no ignition. So let's check that out. So I have my meter in continuity. So you can see the glow igniter is opened. Got both leads connected to the glow igniter. And I'm reading overload. So that confirms that this thing is a problem. See that? So with that, the next test I'm going to do, I'm going to test the ignition control board. I'm going to test the ignition control board if it's signaling the igniter. So if my uh, if my ignite if my glow igniter was good, this would this would be a, would have been the result. The meter would have beeped. Would have beeped when I touched them together when I touched the leads over there. Okay, so now I'm gonna check this part. Is the voltage coming into the uh, igniter? And I'm gonna restart the furnace and see if I get uh, potential here. And then that will just confirm the diagnostics. It's just a faulty glow igniter. Stay tuned. Me meter on the voltage scale. AC voltage or AC volts that is. And you can see I'm over there. And I'm connected to the other side of the plug that goes into my uh my glow igniter. Let's go ahead and start this back up. So there you go guys. One twenty volts. Let me shut my gas valve off before I kill myself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's go again. So that's the diagnostics. We're getting the the glow igniter is opened, and the board here is. The ignition control board or the control board is good because I'm getting 120 volts potential. So the diagnostics, that's the diagnostics. Here we go again. Alright, so that's the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. I upload videos on a weekly basis.